Hello and welcome to Ashford.com. You are watching an interesting video on wearing a bra does not increase postmenopausal women's risk of breast cancer. Please read this disclaimer carefully. According to a new study conducted by health economists at the University of East Anglia and the Centre for Diet and Activity Research in the UK, walking or cycling to work is better for people's mental health than driving. Wearing a bra does not increase postmenopausal women's risk of breast cancer, according to a new study published in the journal Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention. Some people think that, by restricting the lymph system, bras cause toxins to build up in the breasts that eventually result in cancer. There have been some concerns that one of the reasons why breast cancer may be more common in developed countries compared with developing countries is differences in bra wearing patterns, explains Lu Chen, miles per hour, a researcher in the Public Health Sciences Division at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center and a doctoral student in the Dep Department of Epidemiology at the University of Washington School of Public Health, both in Seattle. Given how common bra wearing is, we thought this was an important question to address. The National Center for Health Research say the rumor that bras cause breast cancer was fueled by a 1995 book by Sidney Ross Singer and Soma Cry's major called Dress to Kill. In it, the authors claim that women who wear underwire bras for 12 hours a day have a much higher risk of developing cancer than women who do not wear bras. They consider that, by restricting the lymph system, bras cause toxins to build up in the breasts that eventually result in cancer. However, many professionals and bodies such as the American Cancer Society have rebutted this, pointing out that there is no evidence to support the argument presented in Dress to Kill. New study finds no increased risk. In the new study, Chin and colleagues conducted in-person interviews with 454 women with invasive ductal carcinoma and 590 women with invasive lobular carcinoma, the two most common types of breast cancer. The women were aged 55-774 and there were also 469 women in a control group. The participants were asked a series of questions including, at what age did the study participants start wearing a bra? Does the participant wear a bra with an underwire? What is the participant's bra cup size and band size? What are the number of hours per day and number of days per week that the participant wears a bra bra? Have the participant's bra wearing patterns changed at different times in her life? Information on the participant's family and reproductive history was also obtained and taken into account when analyzing the findings. The researchers found that no aspect of wearing a bra was linked to an increased risk for either of the two breast cancer subtypes investigated in the study. The risk was similar no matter how many hours per day women wore a bra, whether the bra they wear has an underwire, or at what age they first began wearing a bra. Chin says there has been some suggestion in the lay media that bra wearing may be a risk factor for breast cancer. Some have hypothesized that drainage of waste products in and around the breast may be hampered by bra wearing. Given very limited biological evidence supporting such a link between bra wearing and breast cancer risk, our results were not surprising. Though not cancer related, in 2013, a 15 year study by researchers at the University of Besançon in France that claimed wearing a bra does more harm than good. Professor Jean Dennis Ruillen, who led that study, claimed that bras did nothing to reduce breast pain and weaken the muscles that hold up the breasts, resulting in greater breast sagging. Medically, physiologically, anatomically, breasts gain no benefit from being denied gravity, the professor said. On the contrary, they get saggier with a bra. References